Hello, I'm Leonardo McKenzie from The Last Inklings, and in this series of videos I'm going to be exploring playing and singing the cello at the same time. This first video is absolute basics. This is the most simple way to start separating what you might be doing vocally uh, from what's going to be happening with both hands. My recommendation here is to pick a comfortable note, even an open string, but I'm going to go with D on the C string. And we're aiming for just long sustained bows. And whilst doing that, I would suggest the first step, if you're really brand new to this, is just counting the beat out loud. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just beginning to give yourself some separation between the two things. Now if you want to extend that into an exercise that you could use with a lot of different drones in different keys, if you imagine the first five notes of the D major scale, you could sing those over the low drone of D on the C string. And all I'm trying to do there is make sure that this bow is moving smoothly and isn't really connected to the different tones that I'm singing. So I'm not moving, obviously. I'm trying to keep that bow hands completely independent or as independent as possible, just changing at the end of bars, for example. La, da, 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 da. You can obviously try the same thing in C. La, da, 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 da. And so on. Just to start making sure that you can do both things at the same time. As a demonstration of what you can do with a drone, it works with many traditional songs, a lot of folk songs. As I walked out one day, one day, I met an aged man by the way. It's got a tiny fragment of Death and the Maiden there. Or for something more contemporary, uh, John Kirkpatrick's Sing a Full Song. If only the moon could cry, if only the stars could and that drone underneath gives a sense of drama and just lifts something that you could do a cappella. You could also bring that really contemporary. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. And you could break into a bit of Whitney as well. The next part of just using one note at a time to support what you're doing vocally is to begin to move that note and I recommend you find the lyrics and chords for a song that you know particularly well. I've gone with an Adele song just because I know the chords offhand. Now the key thing here if you're not used to reading chord charts which you may not be as a cellist or melody instrument player at the moment you may have something like A, A M which stands for A minor, the minor version of the chord if it's just a capital letter, it's the major version. If there's an M, it's minor. We're not interested in anything beyond, however, the letter itself. So the chords that I've got for this version above the lyrics are C, G, A minor. We're just going to take the A from that chord and F. Now, I've already worked out because I know where these sync up with the lyrics that each one is about four beats long. So we get one, two, three, four of C. Same of G, same of A, same of F. Now I'd recommend maybe playing along to the original version of the song that you've chosen until you can figure out the timing of those chords and just pick a single phrase. I've picked the first couple of lines here. Um, and just practice, as simple as it seems, those chords or the, just that note from that chord a few times. If you can, count the beats out loud as you go, because this is already tricky, you're having to change notes and check your intonation. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When you get 
comfortable with that, you can start to add in the lyrics. Never mind, I'll try someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you too. And from there, you open up the pathway to playing so many different songs, albeit very simply, but you have an accompaniment that brings out the flavour of the harmony to underpin the voice, and that is more than enough to practice just to get that separation between your vocals and keeping a check on the cello's intonation as you play as well. So for a few examples from the Last Inklings repertoire, you'll hear the sustained drone happening in uh, the beginning of our performance of The Telling of the Bees, where we sing in close harmony. I want to show to you the secrets of the telling of the bees but you can never tell a soul not a soul and you'll hear an example of just a single note moving underneath the chorus of the alchemist as an example where i'm playing the chords of f c d and a as i sing the alchemy That should be plenty to carry on with uh, before my second video.